full life. All right. Welcome to the new world of streaming. Streaming. Can't tell if you can see me. Can you see me? Oh, maybe. But I can tell you that how do you do live? Oh. As I'm getting set up for this thing, tell you what, man. The internet is a crazy thing sometimes. Four twenty-two. I bet you there's so many people who are watching things like this that are like, oh my gosh, get your stuff together. And I would agree with you. You know? Doing one of my best. So if you're tuning in, hi. I do know some little tiny things about technology, but clearly not enough. Okay. Can I add this? No, not yet. Uh, uh, this is right. This. How do you do? I don't know if I do that. Why does it not work? I don't know how to add a link here. Oh, wait, there it is. Because it's the wrong link. That's why. That's what I'm supposed to like. Going live. Going live. Hitting the road, yes. Hitting the road, yes. Add this. Oh, interesting. Okay, whatever. Going live. Let's see what happens, y'all. Um, start with a poll, three random song requests that you got in. That's what's gonna happen. Ooh, same song as last, last time. Um, and I think y'all, how you doing? If anybody's tuning in, how is it going? Hey, I'm trying to figure out you know, technology and stuff. It's good times. Uh, yes, big shout out to those helping artists. Thank you so much, Jessica. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, my name is Amber Sweeney, for those of you that are just kind of jumping on. And uh, I'm, uh, you know, having fun figuring things out. I'm going to add some questions and fun stuff here. Um, one of my questions for you is going to be about food, because I've been making tons of food. So, um... What's your favorite, your favorite dinner? Uh, let's see. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a couple of options, like more like genres of food. Okay. So we're going to go Mexican, Italian, uh, uh, Chinese. Or let's see, what is another one of my, I'll just do American. Uh, whatever that means. And then we'll do another one later. Okay, favorite dinner. You let me know. Right now I've been digging chili, man. Let me tell you, it's been my jam. Been loving it. Uh, I made this vegan chili. Uh, I got this recipe off of Pinterest. I'll have to figure out where I got it from, but um, it's super delicious and I love it because it's all like basically fresh ingredients. Like if you know how to make beans, you know, yourself, then you could do it um, pretty the long way if you want. But um, I've been using canned beans, but it's so great. Pinto beans, kidney beans, bell peppers, onions, garlic, delicious. Tomato, good stuff. Happy quarantining, y'all. How you doing? I'm 
gonna sing for you today. I'm super cash today. Um, I've been working a bunch, which sounds kind of strange. I know a lot of us are not technically working. Um, maybe you are, and that's awesome. I hope you are working. I hope you're getting a paycheck and that you're finding ways to entertain yourself. I've definitely been uh, working on trying to write some things and um, get some new content up. I started this thing called Patreon. We got a Patreon page for those of you that know what that is. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, but first up, let's sing some songs, shall we? Yeah. All right. Uh, so this first song I'm gonna do is off of an album I have out right now called "Believing in Love," and it uh, it just says a lot by itself. It goes like this. Hey, 
so that was a song called Restless. How you guys doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to Sessions here. Uh, my name is Amber Sweeney. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hey, can you guys do me a favor? Um, can you give me just like a little thumbs up or something? Let me know that you can hear me okay. Uh, I'm trying something a little bit new-ish with my sound system here. Uh, so I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me. So just a little thumbs up or something. Let me know uh, that you guys can. Yeah, all right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, and welcome. Uh, if you've been here before, it's great to see you again. Uh, and if you're new, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so I asked a question, what's your favorite dinner? Uh, kind of like style of dinner. Like what's your go-to um, like feel-good meal uh, category? And it looks like the winner so far, uh, the winner is Chinese food. Ooh, I love Chinese food. Um, I've been trying to make some uh, some delicious Chinese recipes at home. Although it's really tough to do vegan, right? Um, because there's a lot of fish sauces and, and oyster sauce and things. So I've been eating vegan for like, I don't know, four or five months now. And uh, it's been awesome. I've been, I'm enjoying it. I do miss meat. I will go back to it at some point. But uh, right now I'm just kind of trying to take a break and see what it does for me. But uh, yeah, so I've, I tomorrow... I, or the other day I did this sort of like a stir fry like noodles and I finally like got brave and bought the, the lo mein noodles which is I thought that they were different and they're not so um it's kind of nice to be educated a little bit there <laughs> um but yeah I man I love cooking it's like one of my favorite things to do um tomorrow night I, I'm gonna make a ramen like a like a veggie ramen thing I'm super excited about that it's gonna be good um yeah so welcome it's a gray day here in Washington State, where I live. I live in Southwest Washington. I would be on tour right now. I would be, let's see, what is today, the 22nd? And it's a Wednesday. I should be pretty close to St. Louis right now, I think. Uh, somewhere around there. I would have been in LA this last weekend, and then I would have been making my way east, uh, getting ready to spend a month in Nashville, play some shows in St. Louis, uh, hit Atlanta, do some of that but alas nobody knew a global pandemic was going to break out and here we are here we are how are you guys feeling are you are you guys staying healthy tell me what you're doing to pass the time i would love to know are you guys playing let me know if you're playing games uh if you've got a favorite show that you've been watching i'd love to hear about that that sounds like fun but let's get back to music shall we um i did this uh i did a uh, poll there for songs to play and the winner was alicia keys underdog and uh i think i learned this last week and the weeks days weeks are running into each other i just love this song i heard it the first time i heard it um i don't think i was able to fully appreciate it because i i was kind of in a busy area but um as i've gone back the song it's like one of those that kind of just keeps getting stuck in my head uh, so if you feel like an underdog and you're feeling like you need a a reminder that you're good, then this is for you. She was walking in the street, looked up and noticed he was nameless, he was homeless. She asked him his name and told him what hers was. He gave him a story about life with a glint in his eye and a corner of a smile. One conversation, a simple moment, things that change us. If we notice, we look up. Sometimes, this is the time. 
Alicia Keys Underdog. Good times. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Amber Sweeney. going to sing some more songs for you here today. Some originals, some covers. I'm hanging out in my home studio, kind of like everybody else. And, uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a good but a busy week. I decided this week that I was, um, my, my roommate and I, we, we are doing our best to stay off of social media, which is kind of tough, right? Because everything, our whole lives right now just totally revolve around being online. Um, and especially as musicians, you know, we're kind of trying to focus on reaching all of you guys and using social media to do that. But we decided this week that um, we weren't going to scroll on our phones uh, after the workday was over and we weren't going to watch TV, which is really hard. <laughs> At first, I was like, oh, it'll be no big deal. I've got books to read and stuff I want to do. And, like, today it kind of hit me. I was like, man, I'm so tired. I, I really just want to, like, turn on Netflix and just chill. Like, for real. <laughs> um, but I've actually been really enjoying my time. We get we played Yahtzee last night, and then uh, the night before we played Phase 10, uh, which was really fun. So finding creative ways uh, to use the time and use the evening and it's been great, actually. I mean, I do feel a little more calm and a little more clear, uh, which I appreciate very much. Um, especially, you know, kind of feeling a little locked up in the house. But anyway, so it's been kind of nice to switch some things up there. Um, but let's get back to some songs, shall we? I've uh, I really miss playing. I really miss seeing you guys live. And, and uh, I cannot wait to get out there and see your faces and meet you all. And hit you guys up in your towns, wherever you're living. This next song, um, I kind of got some uh, some sad news today. A buddy of mine, um, well, he, I, I guess when I was a child, when I was in high school, um, one of my high school friends passed away. And uh, it was very tragic circumstances. So I just kind of want to dedicate this next song to him and his family. This song's called Chasing Ghosts.
Cheers to my friend Juice. Hi, Kajeski. You are missed, man. Um. All right, good times. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick this other light on because I, I feel like it's super dark in here. Um. So, just give me one second. A little brighter. I mean, I like the fun lights and stuff, but the truth is, is my webcam isn't that great. Anyway, how you guys doing? What's going on? The thing is, say, hey, Tiffany, welcome. Thanks for being here. It's great to see you. Uh, great to see you again. Hello, everybody that's joining. Uh, feel free to say hi. Drop in the chat. Uh, let me know you're here. Give me a thumbs up, some kind of emoji or something. Uh, I'm glad that, yeah, I'm glad that you're good and the music is going on. Uh, what do you guys, so we talked about food already tonight. Uh, oh, you know what I discovered this week? I, um, I never did lawn work. Like, never did, like, growing up, because I lived in, uh, L.A. and apparently we don't do lawn work in L.A. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I lived in a really weird neighborhood and never had to, uh, yard work. Um, but I had these, like, terrible, ugly pavers outside my house here in Washington, and my roommate and I got it, uh, got it in our heads that we were going to like, oh, let's just redo this. We need some stuff since ba we're basically going to be home for the rest of the summer, uh, thanks to COVID. So uh, we dug up these nasty pavers and weeds, weeds and stuff. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I actually kind of enjoy this. <laughs> so <laughs> turns out um, I kind of like uh, I'm enjoying the landscaping so far. Of course, mind you, I looked ridiculous because I had a mask on and gloves. It was hilarious. But I had a good time. And I can't wait to show you guys the before and after. It's awesome. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so I, uh, I have these fun songs. You know, I played a lot of wineries and stuff. And I've been playing this one. I want to play it again because it's fun. Uh, but this, this is a song about wine. It's a silly song about wine. And I cannot wait to play this at a winery. It's going to be so great. This is called uh, the Cabernet Song.
to live this way always comparing insecurities clever yeah, I just want to live my life without silencing my voice without giving me my choice it's hard to break the glass when you're swinging at the mirror screaming at your reflection so much oh thank you tiffany i cannot wait to come to columbus and see you that's gonna be awesome i'm looking forward to getting back on the road ohio i know that because last like last week i told you I, I know a lot of good people from ohio and now you awesome 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 thank you guys so much for the love for sending all those little loves i really appreciate it um it's awesome 
And I'm, you know, I'm really grateful to uh, Sessions and Next Music for finding unique and creative ways uh, to continue to support artists, which also thank all of you for tuning in um, and supporting artists. A lot of, a lot of weird days ahead, let me tell you. Um, I actually just had a festival postponed for an entire year, my August festival postponed for an entire year, um, which is kind of a bummer. But mm -hmm. I'm really hopeful that um, as, uh, as the virus starts to get contained and we start to figure all this stuff out, um, that I'll be able to at least play in some smaller venues again um, and see your guys' faces in real life, uh, maybe do some house shows. Those are always fun. This is kind of like a house show. I get to tell you guys stories, fun stories, good stories. Um, I feel like I want to ask another question. Let's see here. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys, since I talked about, I'm going to get this pick out of my mouth, since I talked about uh, <laughs> yard work, I want to ask you guys if you like to do yard work or if you do not. So, let me change this real quick. Hold on. The question is, do you like yard work? Here are your options. No. And here is your poll. Ready? Go. Let's see if it'll. Oh, wait. No, I gotta have. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Uh, answer. Answer. I'll tell you who wins. Um,. <laughs> Silly, silly, silly. I've been enjoying it. I actually, it's kind of silly that uh, I've never really done. I mean, mowing the lawn doesn't sound like something I want to do, but I did enjoy digging up the pavers. That was kind of fun. Um, yes, yes wins. Yes is the winner. All right, guys. Cool. You guys enjoy yard work. Next one will be about uh, beverages, I think. Uh, but for right now, let's get back to some music, shall we? Um. So, I'm, you know, typically, um, I, I kind of, I dig this song, so I'm going to do this one. I, uh, this song is typically about dating, but I feel like this is sort of the whole world right now. <laughs> Although I'm ready to get out of my house, let me tell you. Are you guys ready to get out of your house? I'm like, I know I've already said it a million times, but I'm itching to get out. The song is called Claustrophobic. I get claustrophobic. Don't like my space interrupted. Try to roll with it till I get swallowed up. Whole even pieces on the ground. All those hearts that I found to love. And I take control of it. Thank you. 
show me now how you really see me. And if you love me, then let me know you mean it. Cause I won't throw my love around now. I'll take a chance to really listen to me. Imagine life moving to the music. My love ain't lost, it can be found. That was claustrophobic. Um, it's a song that you can actually you can stream it right now. Uh, I've got an album out. It's on Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, Deezer, anywhere where you can stream music, you can listen to it. <laughs> uh, YouTube, all that kind of stuff. Uh, just look up the Amber Sweeney, my name right there, Amber Sweeney. Just put the in front of it, um, and you'll find that song claustrophobic on an album called Believing in Love. Okay another song for you so you can see my hat right what does it say something like i can't quite see it some surf like a girl i think this is really a shout out to um girl surfers <laughs> so i tried surfing in high school because i grew up in southern california and um i think you know i used to go boogie boarding all the time and it was you know awesome and no big deal and then i got tumbled once and i, I got like just totally afraid of the water and decided that i didn't want to do that again and of course, all of my friends surfed. Uh, they used to get up before school at like five o'clock in the morning. They go surfing, and then they they'd come to school um, in high school. And I, uh, they were like, "You gotta come out, come out, come out, come out. We'll help you. We'll teach you." So with my church, we went, and I I was borrowing a surfboard, and there I was. I was I was heading back out there, and that fear just came over me, and I got tumbled again. And I this time, like I mean, full on tumbled up to the shore. Surfboard hit me in the face. I had a fat lip, and I was like, "That's it. I'm done." I was 16 years old, and I have not been in the ocean since. Like, I've put my feet in, but, like, I haven't swam the ocean since. Uh, I respect it. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, this looks like a total poser move thing, but um, there are a lot of girls out there who surf and surf well, uh, so this is my shout-out to you uh, because I think you're amazing and courageous, and I love that you enjoy it, whoever you are. Uh, but, anyway, that's my fun uh, story about not surfing anymore. <laughs> It looks like so much fun. And then I start to think about like, you know, getting hit in the face and drowning and all the creatures that are in there in the ocean. And I'll just I'll just watch it. I like watch. It. I love the beach. I'll watch the I'll watch the waves. Anyway. Um on that note, I want to sing a song for you guys called Breathe. It goes like this. Connected. But I love it, babe. 
Hey everybody, thanks for everybody who's just joining. My name is Amber Sweeney. Welcome. That was a song called Breathe. And uh, yeah, you're hanging out with me. I live, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, claps and fires. I appreciate that very much. That's a lot of numbers. P595. Is that a phone number? That would be so rad. I would call you and be like, hey, what's up? Um, <laughs> thank you for joining. Thank you for the fire. Thank you for the love. I really appreciate you guys very much. Um, it's so much fun having you here. Please make sure, uh, please remember to follow me. I would love it if you would follow me. Um, I've been doing these shows every Wednesday, right around this time, right around 6, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you hit follow and follow me, and I'll, uh, I'll add some more to my schedule here. And, of course, you can find me um, at theambersweeney.com, or if you use uh, social media. Actually, I'm going to ask you guys to answer a question here for me. Uh, tell me what, what uh, social media do you use? Which is your favorite social media, shall we? That sounds like fun. I'm a big fan of Instagram. Um, I mean, I use all of it, but Instagram's been my favorite. Um, so you let me know what your favorite social media uh, site is. And we, and then we'll just be, you know, we hang out. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I have a Snapchat, but I never use it. Um, because I'm 37, you know, things like that. Uh, but I do like the filters. They are kind of silly. Um, and just for fun, I'm going to put this one because I don't know who uses this like at all. <laughs> 
I used to, and then I was like, why do I have that? I don't need a LinkedIn. I'm linked in other ways. Anyway, let me know what your favorite social media site is and make sure to follow me, The Amber Sweeney. Um, I'm going to do a live stream from uh, Facebook and YouTube, I think, in the next week or so. So I'll be announcing that soon. And of course, I've got this going on every week here. Um, so... If you've been following me, you've been watching me for a couple weeks, you know that um, I auditioned for season 18 of The Voice, and I got all the way, I was supposed to, I was in Los Angeles, I got through like two or three rounds of auditioning, and I uh, I was there for to film a blind audition, but television is a funny thing, and uh, sometimes you get cut before you get to do the things they say that you're going to do, and they don't tell you why. Um, it was a, it was a really cool experience though. I got to meet a lot of a lot of cool people. Some of the people that you might be seeing online, or seeing on the show right now, um, I do know some of them. They were awesome people. Uh, had some great connections. Um, my buddy uh, Darius Lyles was one of them. Uh, he's from Chicago. So yeah, it was it was a great experience. I met I'm, some people that I think are going to be lifelong friends. But um, this is kind of how I felt when I came home from that. Uh, I kind of got knocked on my butt, you know. I was fully expecting to be somewhere else right now and uh i'm not there i'm at home which all of us were right like we're, i'm sure we had uh, plenty of other things that we were planning on doing uh these few months but anyway uh, this is a song called caught me blind <laughs>
always wanted to resolve. <laughs> I always wanted to resolve to the E. I don't know why. That's where my, e, my ear wants to go. Anyway. Hi, welcome everybody who's just joining. Thank you guys for following me. Thanks, Gaze, for following me. That's awesome. Um, my name is Amber Sweeney, for those of you that are just tuning in. I am a singer-songwriter from the Pacific Northwest United States. Uh, I'm about 30 minutes northeast of Portland, Oregon, which is very confusing for people. We used to have, uh, like, walk into the mall here. because uh, Technically, I live near Vancouver, Washington, and people always think Canada. And when you say Washington, a lot of people think D.C. So we used to have, uh, like, these T-shirts and stickers and things that said, uh, Vancouver, not Canada, Washington, not D.C. <laughs> it was kind of funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, I technically am about 30 minutes away from Portland, Oregon. So I'm a little bit north. I'm not near Seattle. I love Seattle. It's about two and a half hours north of me. I'm close to Portland. So I'm considered a Portland artist, which I'm okay with. Um, I get all the benefits of being a Portland uh, artist, and I don't have to pay state income tax. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there you go. So I've got lots of other songs for you guys today. Um, I see that Facebook is the winner of our last poll. So a lot of you guys are on Facebook, so make sure to find me. Follow me on Facebook as well. The Amber Sweeney. The, T-H-E, Amber Sweeney, S-W-E-E-N-E-Y, Sweeney like Todd, without the murder. <laughs> uh, I'd love to stay connected. Uh, I also want to say thanks so much to Next Music and Sessions here, these live sessions. This has been such a lifeline for me as a singer-songwriter to be able to connect with you guys and play music and um, you know, make sure that I'm still doing what I'm doing. And, and I really do hope that it's bringing you guys encouragement uh, that you need. So I'm a big fan of uh, Brene Brown and... Uh, Man, I, I wish I was better at this. I wish I was better at remembering in the moment that I'm in control of writing my story, right? Like, I feel like it's so easy to get up here and speak some, like, really quippy truth and explain, like, isn't this powerful? It's a powerful statement, but it's so much harder to live it, and I feel like this is one of those statements. The song is called Be Well, and it was inspired by, um, you know, some things that Brene has said about being in control of writing your own story. And there's a line at the end of the chorus that says, um, uh, write your story, my love, and be well. And, <clears throat> you know, it's so much easier said than done. You know, and I think uh, I've said that a million times already, but I catch myself like getting really defensive and feeling really afraid of dumb things. And uh, I, I see where it gets rooted in myself, right? Like I get, I'm really afraid that I don't belong. You know, I think that's like one of my core fears in life is that somehow people are just going to reject me and tell me that I don't belong anywhere um, and that I have no purpose. And then they would therefore abandon me. And so I don't even realize that at times, like if I make a mistake, that that embarrassment of making a mistake and a genuine like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, that turns into embarrassment, that turns into shame, that turns into fear, that turns into anger. And I follow that cycle and then I think about songs like this and I'm like, wow. I, I'm glad I have the practice. <laughs> I'm glad I have plenty of moments to practice uh, writing a different ending to that story. Um, but anyway, that was a really deep, long-winded explanation of <laughs> what this song is. Um, but if you need to remember that you're in control, I need to remember that I'm in control. So we're in it together. This is a song called Be Well. <laughs> That's not it at all. That is not how that goes. <laughs> there we go. Search for the key.
everybody, welcome for those of you that are just joining. Um, that was a fun combination. So I wrote this song with my friend Alex called Be Well, and uh, we were recording that song, and <laughs> he was like, play that like little line, you know, uh, uh, it's really pretty when you finger pick the, this little part. And then I did this like little walk down, right? And I, I'm like, man, that sounds so familiar. And he's like, really, I, I, I don't know what it is. He's like 10 years younger than me. <laughs> He's like, I, I don't, I don't, doesn't sound familiar to me, but you know, whatever, let's just, let's just record it. And I was like, okay. So we recorded and then I left, uh, on tour and he was doing some mixing and stuff. And then it hit me. I was like, oh my gosh, I totally ripped off Alanis Morissette. So it's, you know, not in there anymore. <laughs> uh, but now I feel like I have to play those two songs together when I play them live because it just makes sense. It's in my head. Um, guys winding down here it's so great to see you thanks for all the love i appreciate the love and the claps um all the fun little loves that you guys are sending the likes the thumbs up make sure to follow me here i would love to stay connected i'll be back here again next wednesday um and also follow me on social media you can follow me the amber sweeney you can listen to all my stuff online that's one of the things that is really cool about um you know the, sort of the way that things are right now like maybe i only get a tenth of a penny every time or uh, like even less than that, an 18th of a penny every time you stream my songs on Spotify. But please do. It, it adds up, you know. Share it with your friends. If you make Spotify playlists, please add my music to your playlists. Um, I'm also on Deezer and Tidal and Apple Music and Amazon. Everywhere that you that you consume music or stream it, um, every little bit helps. So that's one of the ways that you can support all of your favorite independent artists as well. Um, like us, follow us, put us on your playlists if you like our, our stuff our music. So yeah, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, and you know, feel free to drop me a message in the chat. I know a few of you have said hi. I see some claps. Uh, I saw, uh, I'm going to, I am going to go visit Tiffany in Ohio some, at some point here when everything gets lifted. And yes, Jessica summer is coming and it can't come soon enough. I cannot wait to sit outside in the backyard and drink margaritas. Which leads me to my next question, which I'm going to drop here in the polls or in the chat for you guys. Um, I want to know what your favorite summer drink is. Your favorite summer drink. What's your favorite summer drink? I'm going to give you some adult options and some non-adult options. Um, iced tea and margaritas. It is, we are coming up on Cinco de Mayo. I am excited about that. Uh, and ooh, actually, I'm gonna do this option for you instead because I I like beer, but let's throw some fun stuff in there. All right, tell me what your favorite summer drink is, because those are some of the things that I love. Um, hey, thanks, Marianne. I appreciate it. You love the tone of my voice. Thank you very much. Or you like the tone of my voice. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that very much. Marianne, where are you from? Where do you live? Um general area you don't feel don't feel like you have to say but i'd love to know um australia hey awesome um i love australia actually marianne have you ever heard of a guy named jazzy d he's a producer out of australia um i've done some songs with him um which is super cool. Uh, we, we've worked together over the internet. Um, he's, we've been able to work remotely. So I haven't been. I, I'm looking forward to the day I get to come down under and hang out with y'all. Um, but anyway, this uh, this is a, a song. Uh, let's see if I can remember how it goes. Uh, let's see if I can remember it. Oh yeah, okay. So this song um, went to like number one on all these like independent uh, radio stations all over the world. Australia, the UK, here in the, the US, and indie soul stations. Um, so this is a song with an Australian producer that, that we co-wrote together, um, and it's called Sweet Light. And uh, so like we were working, we were getting ready to work on this song, and he had this music, and he goes, hey, so, you know, do you have it like I just wanted like a nice story and I was like just a nice story like nothing else he's like yeah just a nice story and it was I was stuck on this thing I couldn't figure out like what I wanted to write about 
and um, I was visiting my aunt uh, in Denver, and she was talking to me about how the sweet light kisses the mountains goodnight, and I was like, oh my gosh, Aunt Kelly, you are brilliant. So uh, I have to give her a little bit of credit for this, <laughs> but uh, so this is this is called Sweet Light. That's a song called Sweet Light. Uh, Marianne, I dedicate that to you because uh, because you're from Australia and I love Australia. <laughs> um, I love that song. That song is called Sweet Light. It is Jazzy D featuring me, Amber Sweeney. Uh, you can find that and stream that anywhere too. Jazzy will appreciate that. Um, he's a cool dude. We've got some other songs that uh, we haven't been able to release yet and I'm excited for the day that you get to hear them because, man, I love working with that guy. Talk about jazz, soul, Cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff. All right. Um, I think I'm down to like my last song, y'all. I, I am a... <laughs> thank you. I got a lot of soul. Yes, it's true. 
it's so funny thinking about, you know, I feel like we all do. We all have a lot of soul. We all have something that just is guttural in us that uh, makes us special and unique. Um, but I'm, I'm grateful that I have soul in my voice and I get to use it in this way. It's really fun. I enjoy it. Um, for a long time, it's so funny, you know, I, I grew up, my favorite artist, it was always soul, always R&B, and I spent the majority of my career early on, like, in rock bands, I was in a ska band, I played bass in a ska band in high school, uh, but I played bass in a rock band, and then I was in a folk duo, and, uh, you know, I would always come back to sort of like this blues, bluesy vibe, bluesy soul vibe, and, uh, I finally, a few years ago, had to restart my career, and when I did, I, I, I was just like, I'm done. I'm done dancing around what is inside of me and the music that I write. You know, I can write all kinds of different genres, and, um, you know, that's just a matter of production, but what's inside of me is this, and so it's been so much fun uh, to really let that come out over the last few years. Um, it feels more authentic. Uh, my mom misses the rock and roll, though. <laughs> she tells me that. She's like, I mean, it's really great. I love what you're doing. It's still really great, but I miss the rock and roll. It's okay. It's still there. Um, so let's see here. Uh, all right, let me let me know. Do you guys want a cover song as my last song of the day, or do you want an original song? Let me know in the chat. Just cover or original. I got options here for you. And uh, make sure you follow me. I would love to stay in touch. Um, you can follow me here. On sessions and your sessions app and also original all right Tiffany all right Jessica originals we got it um, and also please feel free to follow me I would love to stay connected online Instagram Facebook uh, all that fun stuff uh, so yeah all right original I'm gonna do a song called skinny is pretty um, I don't believe the skinny is pretty but that's the point of the song so anyway goes like this. Inside of me, the woman. Oh, how can I pretend? 
Sorry, y'all. That was a song called Skinny is Pretty. I haven't recorded that one yet. Uh, I'm, I got a bunch of new songs that I'll be working on over the coming months. Uh, trying to figure out how to get them recorded and get them out to you guys so that you can hear. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'm going to be here again next Wednesday, um, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So whatever time it is right now for you, uh, an hour and a half before. Uh, so yeah, I just am so grateful again. So great to see you guys and meet you guys. Tiffany, it's great to see you again. Jessica, it's great to see you again. Uh, Marianne, it's great to meet you. All of you guys, P59, everybody, everybody that said hello. It's so great to hang out with you. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Make sure you follow me here and again on the socials. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you guys. Have a great night. I'm going to go eat some chili because I'm starving. Thanks, man. Thanks. For, I, I, I'm glad. I appreciate it. It was a fun show. I had a good time. You guys are fun. You guys have a good night. Be blessed. Be safe. And um, we're in this together. Much love to you guys. Thanks. I gotta turn my YouTube off now. Come on, little thing. Come on, little thing. Come on, little thing. Come on.